Oh goodness, hello there. My name is Mr. Chuku and you are welcome to today's class. You must be wondering why we started our class with me popping a balloon. I will tell you the reason in a minute. We are going to learn about the use of air pressure in flotation and suction. Those are really big words. <laughs> flotation. F-L-O-A-T-A-T-I-O-N. Flotation. And S-U-C-T-I-O-N. Suction. Not to worry. We will learn all about them. We cannot see air, but we know that it is all around us. This is because we can feel it on our skin. What we feel on our skin are the particles that make up air. These particles are called molecules. When all of these molecules move in a fast pace, they exert pressure on whatever is in their way and push against it. This pressure is known as air pressure. Air pressure is beneficial to do a lot of things that we do. For example, blowing on a bubble gum for fun. Can you blow a bubble gum? First chew on the gum until it is flat. Then place the gum in between your lips using the tip of your tongue. Now blow as hard as you can. It is similar to blowing up a balloon. Air pressure is not only useful for fun things like blowing a balloon, but for other important things like flotation and suction, as I mentioned earlier. So, what is flotation? Let's find out. Air is present in the atmosphere, but air pressure reduces as we go up in the atmosphere. This is why airplanes can go high up without air molecules pushing it down. The air pressure high up in the atmosphere is a lot less than the pressure on the surface of the earth. This is because air pressure is drawn downwards by a force known as gravity. Gravity is what keeps everything from going upside down on the earth. If gravity doesn't exist, air pressure will be the same throughout the atmosphere and we might be floating about like in outer space. However, this is not the case. Just like in the atmosphere, air pressure is greater below things than it is above them. Another interesting fact about air is that it occupies space. Air is made up of tiny pieces of things we cannot see with our eyes. They are called molecules. All of these molecules need space and they sure take up space. An empty glass cup for instance is not truly empty. Air molecules are inside it. These molecules are everywhere including inside water. When an object is placed in water, it takes up space. By doing so, it pushes air molecules together so that it can share their space with them. If this object should be able to float on water, it has to be lighter than the air molecules that it has pushed together. Remember that air pressure below things is usually greater than above them. This is because the object causes air molecules to push against each other. This tightening makes them move against each other faster. Let us try a short exercise. For this exercise, you will need a ball and a tub of water. Place the ball in the tub of water. What happens? Does it sink or float? This is because the air pressure inside the ball is lesser than the air pressure under the ball. This is the same thing that happens when a boat is on water. The boat is able to float because of air pressure. Air pressure is useful for water transportation. But that is not all. Air pressure is also useful for suction. Suction simply means to suck in or pull something towards you. How does suction apply to air pressure? I'll show you how using another exercise. Get a cup of water and straw if you would. Please? Ready? Now, suck on the straw until you can sip the water through the straw. The reason water is able to rise through the straw is because your mouth played the role of a suction. As you suck on the straw, you drew out all of the air inside it. Because the air pressure below the straw is now greater than the one inside it, the water was able to rise to your lips. This is an incredible phenomenon that works for vacuum cleaners. Have you ever seen a vacuum cleaner? A vacuum cleaner looks like this. It is used as an alternative to sweeping, especially in homes with carpets in which dirt can stick to. Vacuum cleaners use air pressure to suck in the dirt in a similar way that your lips suck on the straw and water. There are other ways that air pressure is beneficial to us besides water transportation and suction. Paper kites are able to fly because of air pressure. Can you find other ways that air pressure can be used for fun? Great! I'll expect to hear about them in our next class because this is how far our lesson goes. However, let us revise the main points of the lesson 
to help us remember all that we've done today. A. Air is present in the atmosphere. However, air pressure reduces as we go up in the atmosphere. B. Air occupies space. C. Just like in the atmosphere, air pressure is greater below things than it is above them. D. Air pressure is useful for flotation and water transportation. E. Air pressure is used to suck in dirt from carpets using a vacuum cleaner. We have learned about the ways we can make air pressure work for us, including water transportation. Next time that you try a drink using a straw, you can observe the new facts that you now know about air pressure and suction, and tell others about it. Would you like to go over some of these facts to see how much you remember? Well, here they are. 1. Air takes up space. When the space that air molecules take up is shared with another object, it increases the pressure below the object. This is useful in a lot of ways. One way that this is useful as we have learned today is in... Great job! When an object such as a boat takes up space from air molecules, the increased air pressure below the boat causes the boat to float. 2. One way that suction is used is in cleaning our homes. The alternative to a broom that uses air pressure and suction is called... Wonderful! A vacuum cleaner is a suction device that sucks in dirt from carpets using air pressure. This is where we will end the lesson on air. Do not forget to write down all the interesting things you have learned and tell someone else about them. This will help you remember them and of course, sharing knowledge is always great. I will see you in our next lesson. Bye-bye.